Welcome to the Lemon Tube Amiga Workbench Guides. This video was made possible by our sponsors on Patreon. If you'd like to support these videos, why not check out our Lemon Tube Amiga Club subscription page, where you'll find all the latest perks and freebies. In this video, we'll be checking out how to install new icons. You can see new icons version 4.6 is available on the Aminet and we can simply download that onto our PC. Having downloaded that, well, that should be somewhere in our archive. This is our Amiga archive that we've installed into our hard drive and all of the Amiga files are accessible on our PC through our PC hard drive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find what we've just downloaded and we're going to extract that into that destination. Now if we look on our hard drive, by booting into our Amiga we can see that the new icons install package has installed but unfortunately the installer, it can't find the installer. And the installer is another application which is used to install things. Where can we find that? We can find that on the Workbench 3.1 install disk. So if we install that and put that back into our floppy disk drive and check out the C directory, you can see some more commands that we need to copy over and maybe prod prep is definitely a new command that we haven't seen before. Looking in the main directory of the Workbench 3.1 install disk, we find the installer. So what I'm going to do is to copy that file to my C directory, C drive on system, C colon, and that should mean now that the installer will run. And let's check out that and let's see if that works. And it does actually boot into the installer, but the install script in this case is broken. So that means that we're going to have to install this thing manually. I have no idea why it does this, but let's do it manually anyway. And whilst we're here, let's grab some class act things as well. Class act manipulates the windows and updates the window style. And you can have class act running applications which are built to use class act. So we might as well download that, copy that over and by running that yes it does work now with the installer and that will now copy the class act gadgets over onto our workbench classes and it will install class act onto our computer we'll also need lha run which is a file that we'll need to run in order to extract lha files and LHA run is one of the very few run commands on the Aminet. When you type that in on the Amiga side, it should automatically extract. So let's find that and copy that over. And then we can also try to reinstall this installation of new icons. And for that, we can get rid of the old one. And let's try to install this using LHA on the Amiga side. And let's see if that fixes the problem. So let's copy over what we've put in already. And by doing a quick DIR, we can see Class Act 2 is in there. And New Icons 4.6 is also in there. So if we run the LHA run, that will automatically extract LHA, which is the archive package like zip. And that will mean that we can unarchive LHA compressed files, which 99.9% .9 of those are on the Aminet. So you can see that we are copying LHA 020 for the 020 CPU because we're running Amiga 1200. Definitely if you're using a multi-boot system, then the vanilla 68K version is the one to go for. And then you can use LHA and un-LHA on all of your systems, no matter what system you're booting into. If it's the 020, then unfortunately you'll need an 020 to boot into that. So we're deleting now all of the LHA files that's got rid of them. And now we can use LHA to extract new icons into that destination. And for some reason, it's already thinking that we've already got it, even though we've just deleted it. But let's go over it again and let's put all those files and extract them using LHA onto our hard drive to get back to where we were before. 
and you can see let's go in there and let's see what we can check out the installer still isn't working unfortunately but we can check out this installer it's exactly the same as what we had before only we've installed it this time using the LHA decompression tool on the Amiga side all the files and all the sizes should be the same so in order to install new icons we'll need to go into the libs directory and for this I'm going into ME and in there you'll find new icon library so let's copy the new icon library over to our libs and that should mean that the library which this package needs is in there we'll also need the command as well so let's have a look in the commands and yes all of those are brand new to us so let's copy all of those commands including the new icons to command into the c directory of our workbench and that means that we can run those now natively on our amiga workbench and then the final thing that we'll need to do to install this manually is of course to edit the startup sequence and that means that when the machine loads it will load up that command and that command will look at the library and run that command and it will operate and in order to get this to work i'm putting in two sets of nil commands so that any output from that operation isn't going to be printed out on the screen and run means that it runs it in multitasking mode so that it runs it at the same time as everything else and in case you have issues running your icons well you can always put it after the assigns and putting that after the assigns should mean that it's the machine is ready to take that it's checked out the version it's added the buffers it's made all the directories and then after the assigns all it needs to do is really work bench and load workbench and all the small things so that's what we're going to do we're going to put that in there and we've copied that c command over so that should now work let's reset that machine all over again let's boot into our wonderful new operating system and we should have eight color mode running and new icons is running so we can check this out this is my custom palette so these colors aren't precise but you can see red is red and blue is blue so you can see that the new icons are working in all of their eight color glory and so let's take a quick tour this will update all of the icons in the system drawer and we can also see prefs as well and locale storage we start up tools and devs and even expansion drawer as well so we know that we have all of these tools on our amiga workbench so surely all that we need to do is copy those over onto it but unfortunately if you copy those which are included with this package it doesn't come with the prompt which tells the package where the item is and the icon every single icon will have something called a tool type and also a default tool and the default tool controls the location where the application is so unless you change the default tool the application just won't run so if you copy all those icons all those .info files from that package and we replace those onto our native Amiga what that will do is overwrite all of those default tools and so none of the packages will actually work so just to give you an idea of the wrong thing to do let's go into our new icons installation drive let's select a folder at random and let's copy over all of the icons from that folder onto our hard drive and that will copy all those over so let's see cd icons so for this one let's copy over the tools from the tools directory into dho and the tools directory only contains info files so we can copy the whole lot to dh1 which is our workbench tools directory that will copy all of the info files over there it won't have any applications in there you can see commodities is also in there which we haven't bothered to copy over and so let's do the same with the prefs again to show you what not to do and this means that none of the prefs i don't think will work and some of them might work depending on if they've got the default tool set in this installation let's copy a few utilities over whilst we're messing this up 
and let's copy the utilities from the icons on the utilities drive to DH1 workbench into utilities so now hopefully if we've finished doing any of this copying business and what am I doing I'm copying the system drawer icon to DH1 system I'm copying all of those things across the system and so now hopefully that should mean that most of the drawers on my system will now have converted themselves to use the new icons and that's the good news because it means we've got all those new icons in there unfortunately we cannot run any of those because none of the icons is set up to use the application because we've just overwritten that with all these new icons so if we go to the icon information you can see the default tool is blank and that means that the icon has no idea where to point itself in order to run this application and the best thing to do is to not update all the icons like this in the first place and then you don't have to go back and update all of those default tools it says the icons have no default tool it says in the top corner no default tool unfortunately so we can install these icons manually if we like and that installation manually will mean that the default tools is saved because all we're going to do manually is overwrite the picture and the image and we're not actually going to overwrite the default tool so you can see we can drag and drop icons into the icon editor and let's load up some more images let's select to load up both images and for this we'll need to go into our new install which is in files new icons and that's actually loaded up unfortunately the drive image for new icons for the drawer I'm not interested in that but what we are interested in hopefully in the icons are all of the systems so let's look up shell so this is the new shell icon you can see the old one is still in the bottom corner what we're going to do is to save that and that will automatically save over onto the icon that we dragged and dropped in there in the first place that will automatically work because it will copy the default tool over for us so let's drag over no fast mem and in here there should be an icon for no fast mem we'll load that in and because it's still connected to the no fast mem tool we can save that up it will overwrite it and you can see that using this color palette we've managed to get the no fast mem running and that will run because we haven't overwritten any default tool settings we've simply replaced the picture and all the rest of the icon stats are basically there so in this archive you should find all of them and it does take some time to do it manually and we'll be going through how to install some more 16 color fonts later on the major drawback is this icon right here only works with eight color mode and so the icons that we're loading at the moment even if they are 16 colors we'll only get to see eight of them and you can see it's even with this custom color palette you can see that the disc is blue and the disc labels are red and that kind of thing so it does work and we can update all those icons <laughs>